ongoing conflict between Israel and Iranian proxy groups like Hamas and Hezbollah seems to have escalated into a new phase. Just recently, on October 3rd, an unexpected event unfolded as Russia found itself suddenly targeted by an Israeli military operation. This has sparked significant speculation and raised questions about the strategic thinking behind Israel's military decisions. In recent weeks, Israeli forces have faced serious setbacks in southern Lebanon, where they were engaged in skirmishes with Hezbollah. Reports suggest that Israel suffered notable losses, leading many to question whether the country has miscalculated its adversary. If Israel is already struggling against groups like Hamas and Hezbollah, it begs the question, what emboldened its military to provoke a global power like Russia? On Thursday, October 3, 2024, Israel launched an airstrike aimed at the region of Latakia in Syria. The strike had devastating consequences, with the Russian-operated Khmeimim Air Base becoming a primary target. The explosion at the base was immense, and according to reports from Levant 24, a Syrian news agency, the impact was not limited to the military facilities. The nearby civilian airport in Latakia also suffered considerable damage from the attack. The bombing campaign, which began at 3.55 a.m. and continued until 5.41 a.m. local time, saw Israeli naval forces launch a barrage of 30 missiles from the sea, targeting areas around Latakia and the Khmeimim Air Base. This bold move by Israel has left many analysts questioning the broader implications of the strike. What could this escalation mean for the already volatile relationship between Russia and Israel? And how might it influence the larger geopolitical landscape in the Middle East? It turns out that just two days before the attack, an Iranian aid plane had landed at the Khmeimim Air Base. Furthermore, only an hour before the strikes, a Qasem Fars Airlines plane from Iran also touched down in Latakia. This particular aircraft was reportedly carrying aid supplies intended for the people of Lebanon and Syria. However, Israel claimed that among the aid shipments, there were weapons being smuggled by Iran to support Hezbollah fighters. This has long been Israel's stance, that humanitarian flights and aid deliveries from Iran often conceal military supplies for proxy groups like Hezbollah. As a result of the attack, Russian aircraft were seen conducting continuous patrols over Latakia, maintaining a watchful eye over the region. In the aftermath, the Russian government took a decisive step by urging all Russian nationals currently in Israel to return home immediately. This move has sparked widespread speculation, leading many to wonder what Russia's next steps might be. Will Moscow retaliate against Israel, or will it choose a more diplomatic route? Public curiosity continues to grow, with many questioning whether Russia will seek to escalate the conflict or respond through other strategic measures. While Russia's potential response remains uncertain, one thing that has captured widespread attention is the presence of Russia's air base in Syria. It raises the question, why does Russia maintain such a significant military installation in the region? The relationship between Russia and Syria runs deep and is steeped in history. Many are already aware of the frequent uprisings that have plagued Syria, particularly the insurgency led by ISIS. The conflict between the Syrian government and ISIS has been ongoing for years, and it is this prolonged instability that prompted Russia to intervene in support of Syria. Russia's involvement is not just about securing the Assad regime, but also about combating ISIS which Moscow views as a serious regional threat. 
reserves. So far this week, Russia says it has destroyed 15 oil facilities in Syria and five. For Russia, this military engagement serves as a demonstration of its power on the global stage, particularly in contrast to the United States. While Russia may not rival America in terms of economic might, its military capabilities continue to command significant attention and respect and Moscow is keen to assert that fact to the world. Meetings between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad have become somewhat routine over the years. One such meeting took place recently at the Kremlin in Moscow, where the two leaders discussed the ongoing reconstruction of war-torn areas in Syria. Their talks also centered around efforts to restore stability and security to the region, in addition to addressing a range of other critical issues impacting Syria's future. Regarding the airbase in Syria, specifically in Latakia, from the very beginning of its construction up until now, Russia has utilized this strategic base to facilitate the easier shipment of weapons intended for the ongoing civil conflicts. It also serves as a vital location for training Russian troops stationed in Syria, further deepening Russia's military presence and influence in the region. In 2021, Russia undertook significant efforts to modernize the Khmeimim Air Base in Latakia, located in western Syria. This modernization was a key part of their preparations to accommodate nuclear-capable bomber aircraft. According to one Russian newspaper, this initiative was aimed at reinforcing Russia's foothold in Syria, solidifying its position as a dominant military force in the Middle East. This close relationship between Russia and Syria has undoubtedly put Israel on alert. The intricate ties connecting Russia, Syria, Iran, and the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah have become even more evident. The fact that, just recently, an Iranian plane carrying aid for Lebanon was allowed to land at the Russian-operated base has certainly raised alarms in Israel. As reported by The Telegraph, Israel's airstrike on October 3rd sends a clear message. They remain undeterred by their difficulties in Lebanon or by Iran's recent provocations. It is well known that Iran had previously launched hundreds of missiles toward Israel, further escalating tensions between the two nations. Oh God. Okay, guys, we gotta get off the roof. These are coming down right next to us here. Anything involving Iran's activities in Syria, including the landing of an Iranian plane at a Russian airbase, has been met with deep suspicion by Israel. This is why Israel reacted swiftly launching an attack with a clear objective in mind. According to a Syrian media outlet, the Israeli strike specifically targeted a storage facility within the airbase, which Israel suspected was being used to house weapons delivered by the Iranian cargo plane that had recently arrived. Allahu Akbar, shuhda. Hasbi Allah. As a result of these events, Various media outlets and experts have started to predict the potential for a larger scale conflict. There is growing speculation that Russia could align with factions opposed to Israel, possibly joining forces to launch a retaliatory strike in response to Israel's actions. This raises the prospect of a much broader and more dangerous confrontation. Looking at the series of events that have unfolded and considering the question of whether Russia might truly become involved in a war, there are several reasons why this scenario seems highly plausible. First, 
Russia has a long history of intervening in Middle Eastern countries, most notably Syria, with which it now shares very close ties. Over the years, Moscow has not hesitated to project its influence in the region, solidifying its strategic presence in Syria through military bases and alliances. Second, Russia has also established multiple military collaborations with Iran, particularly in the arms and defense sector. Recently, Iran reportedly transferred ballistic missiles to Russia. Although this hasn't been officially confirmed, it reflects the deepening military cooperation between the two nations. <laughs> Furthermore, due to the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Iran has been supplying Russia with Shahed drones, which have been used to carry out attacks against Ukraine. Tehran is said to have provided Moscow with a substantial number of Shahid-136 kamikaze drones, advanced weapons that have the capability to severely damage Ukrainian infrastructure and air defense systems. On the other hand, Russia has also been rumored to provide military support to groups like Hamas, the Houthis, and Hezbollah, further reinforcing its alliances with these actors. The relationship Russia maintains with such groups highlights the complex and far-reaching nature of its influence in the Middle East. Based on Russia's various movements and its growing connections with key players in the region, it becomes clear that Russia's power cannot be underestimated by any country, including Israel. With its arsenal of ballistic missiles, nuclear strategies, Shahed drones, and its alliances with Iran and other groups, Russia's military strength is formidable. Israel cannot afford to be complacent. It must prepare for the worst possible scenarios that could arise in the near future.